everyone. Welcome to Mary's Creative Decor. If you're a subscriber, I want to thank you for watching. And if this is your first time stopping by, make sure you become a part of the Creative Decor family. Hit the subscribe button and keep watching. Damn, Schwazi, I love this beat. Damn, Schwazi, I love this beat. Damn, Schwazi, I love this beat.
bourgeoisie. I love this beat. Damn, Schwazi, I love this beat. So I got my four year done, entry done and I decided in the last hour that I looked at my front door, I looked at the blinds and I usually wash it down and clean it but I think I want to go something different. As you can see the walls are already uh, gray here and I think what I want to do is clean my door so I painted the gray on the doors and I also freshened up the white paint. I removed the blinds, cleaned the glass, and now I want to use this uh, vinyl uh, window covering. This should seal, seal out some of the sun. So I'm going to go ahead, cut it to size, and add it to the windows. And just like that, I have the film on the windows. I didn't have quite enough to do the other window, so I kind of pieced it together, but it's still a lot of sun coming through. So once I piece this together, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and order some more covering because this is just too much sun. I went on Amazon, I ordered my covering and it came within two days. So now I'm ready to go ahead and finish up the window so I ordered this a blind covering or it's like a curtain and it goes on with this velcro strip so I ordered it in 70 inches long and it is 14 inches wide which will cover the panel so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and tape this velcro to the top of the window and I can go all the way to the top I'm gonna tape it and then add the panel so let's see how this turns out.
bourgeoisie. I love this beat. In the hem at the bottom to make it hang flush or give it a little weight, I'm taking a painter stick and sticking it in the hem. Then I'll roll it up and use the holders, which are also Velcro straps, to hold it at the top. And here's a look how the blind or the curtain turned out. Really, really nice. And look at that panel. You can see the beautiful sunlight coming through. But again, I'm going to get the other one hung and we'll come back and we'll see the foyer all complete. My foyer makeover is finally complete and it turned out absolutely beautiful. Now on this wall, aside the, on the side of closet, I'm not quite happy. I didn't have a picture with enough of the burgundy print and could not find anything. So we'll change that later on. But everything else is just simply stunning. And when you turn around, look at the transformation of the front door. Now this is early morning and I have the shades down but it looks so beautiful and still let the sunlight come through. Now, as you all know, for fall, I really don't do a whole lot of decorating. I just add a few pumpkins around the room and I do this because I'll keep my room this way going through Thanksgiving and preparing for the Christmas holiday. And of course, my color scheme will be this same color, burgundy, white, and cream for the holidays. I've already worked my way from the living room to my foyer. And make sure you guys come back because next week I'll be doing my dining room. Now, this is what it looks like in the evening. I just want you to see, uh, especially the front door and how beautiful it looks in the evening light. I'm going to be quiet and just show you guys what it looks like. The film on the door brings in the perfect amount of stained glass colors. I absolutely love it. And you can't see through it from the outside. I do hope you all have enjoyed this video and its content. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. I want to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.